Hello and welcome to a new edition of Locks On Explained. Today I'm pleased to introduce you to my colleague Lorenz. Hello, I'm Lorenz, a member of the Locks On campus team, and my role involves assisting my colleagues with the commissioning of the hotel rooms. Today I will help showcase and demonstrate the multiplicator feature and Locks On config. So the topic we are covering today is the multiplicator. As you can see behind us is the Locks On campus. At the moment it is still a construction site but we are getting close to it being fully completed. At the locks on campus we have numerous hotel rooms. These hotel rooms share a lot of similarities with a vast number of them being almost identical, although none of them are obviously 100% alike. This posed a challenge in terms of the amount of work it would take to install all of this automation control technology manually. But naturally, as an automation company, we have devised a strategy to reduce this workload. We will examine this more when we get to an example hotel room. As it happens, we bumped into fellow Loxon owner and creator of the Loxon campus, Martin. Allow me to introduce you. We are both the founding partners of Loxon. Additionally, we have Marcel here, who is fundamentally responsible for the design of the new campus. Marcel is the architectural brain behind the magnificent building. Marcel, could you please talk to us about our hotel rooms here? We have a total of 60 standard rooms here, which are all equipped in the same manner in terms of their spatial configuration. In addition to these 60 standard rooms, we have 16 executive rooms, which are slightly more luxurious, being a bit bigger and boasting better locations. Furthermore, we have four premium rooms that offer even more luxurious stays. These rooms provide an even better view and have larger floor space. Finally, the best rooms, we have three suites, which range from having floor space from 80 to 90 square meters and having their own sauna. Martin, as someone deeply immersed in campus matters, it's your forte, so to speak. You're in charge of the building and its offering. Could you please share some insights into the crucial considerations that were made when fitting our hotel rooms? Yes, absolutely. The rooms are compact, which caters to our target audience of the classic seminar guest, and we made sure to maintain Loxon luxury in all of the rooms by placing a significant emphasis on equipping those rooms to a high technological and comfort standard. As you may already know, we've implemented beautiful coloured lighting in various ways throughout the rooms, including the likes of indirect lighting beneath the bed and further upward-facing indirect lighting behind the bed's headboard, all creating a pleasant atmosphere for our guests. We have two bedside reading lights, and as everyone who stayed in a hotel room may know, controlling them can be quite challenging, but rest assured, we have some exciting features to address this. Plus, the curtains in the rooms are automated, providing dual functionality, Firstly, preventing the room overheating, and secondly, to ensure privacy in the evenings. Additionally, we've implemented high-quality heating and ventilation systems for the rooms. TVs are found in all of the rooms, accompanied by a new product, soon to be released, that will deliver exceptional sound quality. So in summary, our compact rooms are equipped with advanced locks on technology, which guests may or may not even notice, but it all contributes to a pleasant overall stay. Let's now delve into how we've done this in Locks on Config. We will start with the entrance to the room. Can you walk us through what exactly we've accomplished here? We have a central mini server in the system that interfaces with the hotel booking system. This allows us to provide guests with their access code or room card in advance. With this code or card, guests not only can enter their rooms, but can also gain access to the seminar rooms if they have booked a seminar. Once the guest stay is complete, their user information is automatically deleted from the system. NFC code touch, the ganzen mini server in the verbunden. 
We have an NFC co-touch installed on the door, which is a standard Loxon product. The topology of the rooms is set up so that each room's mini server compact is connected to a higher level mini server, and we will examine in detail how it functions for this particular room here. As you enter the room, we have a key card that you simply plug in, which detects presence. This is the most reliable way to detect presence. Inside the room, we have a small distributor housing, including a mini server compact along with power supply units. This setup allows us to control the entire installation within the room. Uh, mini server compact, we have the verteiler, we have netteile da drin. And this is actually über, über diese installation, haben wir das ganze Zimmer abgebildet. Now, Lorenz, over by the bed, could you please explain the technology we have installed here? We have reading lights positioned on both the left and right-hand side of the bed. These have been integrated via the RGBW compact dimmer. Additionally, there is an RGBW LED strip beneath the bed and on the headboard. For operational control, we have installed a touch pure flex. To automate the shading, we utilize a Nano 2 relay found within the bed. The Nano I.O. tree allows us to monitor the status of the window's position to know if it is open. Furthermore, we have incorporated two presence sensors, enabling automatic activation of night mode for the lights when a guest gets up in the night. We have a significant amount of active technology present here. In our terminology, products that include a built-in processor are referred to as active technology. On the other hand, passive electronics are products without a processor. For instance, the LED strip is a passive component, while the corresponding RGBW dimmer serves as the active component. Now let's turn our attention back to multiplicator. This is a standard room which we have quite a few of here, as previously mentioned by the architect. Upon closer examination, we find that technically the equipment is the same, but the only thing that differs with the components is the distinct serial numbers. The technology in each room includes two present sensors, either side of the bed, various different RGBW dimmers, and a touch pure flex for operating the core features. Could you please tell us the unique things about the multiplicator function in Loxon Config? For instance, we have streamlined the process of learning in the NFC code touch for each room by utilizing the auto function of the multiplicator. In the main file, we specify that this device is taught in automatically, resulting in a significant time savings. This implies that whenever there are multiple of the same type of devices, then the teaching process must be done manually, since automatic assignment is not feasible in these cases. However, if there is only one device, let's say the room only has one present sensor, then you can simply enter auto in the locks on config and the assignment becomes fully automatic. The only task remaining is to teach in the present sensor. Yes, that's right. If possible, it's advisable to avoid discrepancies in peripheral devices. However, in cases where a room has a slightly different layout, such as requiring an additional LED spotlight or window contact, a specific adjustment is made just for that particular room. It becomes a minor deviation but is saved as such, eliminating the need to remove the room from the multiplicator project. We have incorporated a feature that allows for easy and swift implementation of such minor adjustments within a project. Each mini server serves as a sub project, and this is the only device that needs to take the small adjustment into account. Upon entering the room, we realize that it would be more convenient to just have a general access code for the construction site while work is going on. Thankfully, implementing this is quite straightforward. Please talk us through it. Yes, in the multiplicator project, you can define a specific code for each room. This code provides the capability to access each room individually. The possibilities are incredibly simple to implement. Just imagine applying that across 60 standard rooms and multiplying that by the number of active devices in each room. We are at 35 units per room. So 60 mal 35 
So if you multiply 60 by 35, just imagine the amount of manual programming work that would be required. It's truly astonishing. The beauty of our approach is that we only need to configure everything once. Once we have the entire peripheral system of the hotel up and running, we have the advantage of being able to make any necessary adjustments in the configuration. We simply make the changes in the multiplicator project and it automatically fills the new configuration into all of the rooms. That's the remarkable part about the multiplicator. It saves us a tremendous amount of time and effort. Now consider the scenario where we would have to make every minor change and correct every spelling mistake in the app visualization for 60 rooms. It would be an absolute disaster. We also invested considerable time and thought into the cabling and equipment topology. Lorenz, could you explain why we chose to integrate the technology into the bed and ensure the cabling is as simple as possible? Lorenz, why did we in the bed? We prioritized trying to minimize the amount of cabling required per room, and the bed provided to be the best ideal location for housing the room's Loxone technology. Placing the bed centrally within the room allows us to keep the cable runs as short as possible. This provides us with the flexibility to choose between distributor-oriented cabling, which would result in a relatively large distributor in each room, which be the incorrect solution for a hotel room. Instead, we opted for a more field-oriented approach. We run a 24-volt DC line within the bed and install our RGBW dimmers there, distributing the lines accordingly. One crucial aspect for us was ensuring that the reading light could be operated with 24-volt, enabling control with an RGBW dimmer. This guarantees 100% flicker-free light, which was of utmost importance during the product selection process. We aim to integrate products that seamlessly fitted into the overall system. Furthermore, we made sure to remove any safety concerns by not including 230 volt in the contact area. Fortunately, we've observed the market offers an increasing number of products equipped with 24 volt technology. In all in addition to hotel rooms, the multiplicator offers various possibilities for utilisation. It doesn't matter whether it's used for rooms or seminar rooms, in fact the application of this new feature is very versatile. The multiplicator is designed to increase ease of setup and facilitate the configuration of room functionalities and applications en masse when lots of rooms are very similar, almost cookie cutter copies of each other. Now what sets seminar rooms apart? Yes, the number of LED spots or speakers may vary depending on the actual seminar rooms, but the majority of the seminar hotel rooms are designed in a consistent manner. The functionality remains consistent regardless of whether there are 10, 20 or 30 LED spots, the multiplicator isn't concerned about the specific quantity. The key aspect is that you only need to plan the room's functionality once and then apply it to all of the other rooms using the multiplicator. The goal is to minimise repetitive, redundant work as much as possible. In addition to lighting, we extensively covered the climate and cooling aspects in the previous video. Now in terms of heating, we have underfloor heating in the room and induction units with ventilation cooling. The setup is quite similar in the bathroom where we also have underfloor heating. Could you explain how the heating systems here function in more detail? We regulate the room's temperature solely through a six-way valve installed on the ceiling. The valve is only opened when heating or cooling energy is required. That's precisely what allows us to be able to swiftly adjust the temperature on a room-by-room -room basis. In the hotel industry, guests have different temperature preferences, some people may prefer a hotter 21 degrees, while others may prefer a cool 18 degrees in their rooms. It's crucial to accommodate these preferences as quickly as possible. 
Next, let's explore how the functionality is implemented in Locks on Config so that we can move on to the practical application. Now, as we've reached Lorenz's workplace, let's briefly discuss how the entire project came to be. How does one initiate a multiplicator project? Yes, precisely. The base file that met our requirements and proved to be successful was converted into the multiplicator project. So initiating a multiplicator project is quite straightforward. It's just like starting a regular project. You use a standard mini server and configure it accordingly. There's no additional requirements. We conducted pre-configuration of the hotel rooms and subsequently tested these in a sample room to assess their live operational performance. We utilized the base file we had created for the hotel room and applied it accordingly. To convert it into a multiplicator project, simply click on the option in the top left-hand corner. This action will create an additional category next to the project called Manage Mini Servers. Now, what happens next in the process? It is possible to add new mini servers to the managed mini server list. You have the option to centrally update all mini servers or make configuration adjustments directly on each individual mini server. To add each individual mini server, you simply include them in the provided list. You can assign a name to each room, typically using the room number, and proceed to configure each mini server accordingly, connecting the devices to respective mini servers, manually identifying any devices that are not automatically recognized, and ensure that they are properly set up. We have gained extensive practical experience in this process as we have deployed multiplicators all across our campus. Like in our identical warehouse halls or in our seminar rooms, our office, anywhere on campus where there are similar rooms. Throughout our usage, we have discovered that while the functionality of the new feature is fully in place, the operation is not yet optimized. Now, let's delve into how we proceeded with the optimization efforts. After careful consideration, we have concluded that there is still room for improvement in terms of usability. Our focus is on completely revamping the usability of the multiplicator to make this function as user-friendly and comprehensive as possible. We aim to ensure that even in large-scale configurations, the process remains extremely clear and the simplification in usability is taken to such an extent that people can easily navigate and manage such a project with just basic knowledge of Luxon Config. Luxon Config Experte mit 1000 Luxon Config Stunden sein muss, sondern dass man das auch mit mit The best software is the one that is intuitive enough to use without the need for a detailed description. Für die man keine Beschreibung braucht. Genau. Exactly, we organized a workshop with the developers and sat together at the construction site. We even took the developers to our hotel room to delve into detail about the practical aspects. As a result, we can anticipate a promising feature update to the multiplicator. Thank you very much for joining us throughout this process. As always, you can expect a plethora of functionalities to come out that are derived from our practical approach to development. At Luxon, we strive to remain actively engaged in practice and the Multiplicator project is no exception. There is an exciting campus video coming out soon, so be sure to stay tuned. We wish you all the best and hope you're having a great summer. Hopefully the weather is nice where you are. See you soon. Alles Gute und einen schönen Sommer. Ich hoffe, es wird bald wärmer als es heute war. Mir war direkt ein bisschen kalter draußen.